Hey there guys and welcome back to Rickart's journey through Skyrim where you find us we're on the road to Windhelm after returning to Whiterun to tell Jarl Balgruf about the news of oncoming war. Jarl Balgruf told us to take his war axe to Ulfric to find out if the threat of war is actually true. Now we're kind of deviating from the path here because obviously we have the quest to fix what on earth has happened here uh, on a quest to fix the white file I suspect they are bandits let's uh, cease and desist on any trouble right now looks like there's only two of them for that entire camp so maybe We'll reassess and maybe deal with them on the way back. But in fixing the white file, one of the ingredients I need to find is a ground mammoth tusk powder. Now that is in this region, according to uh, what's his name, Quintelius. Apparently, only only giants know how to do it. Grinding mammoth tusk powder to a fine dust. Okay, I can see one giant. What I cannot see is where they keep the mammoth tusk powder. Now, giants are rarely so forthcoming with items in their camp. This could go bad. depending on where the powder is. It appears to be quite high up. Even higher than where I'm going, so maybe we can get all the way around. Just up this way. I wonder if I can climb that. Oh, God. Come on, climb. Okay. So this is quite a big camp. I wonder if I can use a poison right now. I have some pretty good ones. Just depends on whether they'll work. I've got a paralysis potion on this arrow. Oh, that did it. Get some free hits in. Oh, God. Fly arrows. Just the one? Okay, I imagine that bowl is where they're grinding up the arrows. One of three at least. But no more giants to cause me trouble. I don't think so. I don't want to know what that is. So that's it. Mammoth tusk powder. Now that all that remains is unmelting sne hello. Are you locked? No, you're open. Just gold and cowhide. These fires are quite beneficial in keeping me warm. Okay, I still think there's going to be one more giant in my way. I'm trying to get out of this incredibly narrow pathway. There he is. I think we can take him out before he gets here. One more shot should do it. There we go. Sneak attacks for the win. You know, I'm not incredibly invested in sneak attacks. My horse was just over there. Flawless sapphire. 
I'll take some of those lightning arrows back. Giant's toe is apparently very good for stamina poisons. Okay, side quest of the day done. Just one more thing on the shopping list. It's a shame, but I don't think I'm going up that mountain anytime soon. But let's try and get onto warmer pastures as we head our way to Windhelm. It's a road we've taken many, many times before. But it's just the idea if we can deal with it with uh, one, not freezing to death, and two, not being attacked by storm cloaks. Those tend to be the most dangerous things out in the Pale and the Reach. No, East March. Reach is the other side of Skyrim. That's two Sabre Cats. And we ride very close to another giant's camp. This road is known for having its trolls. I mean actual trolls. So if I do see one, I won't be too shocked. The only thing that puzzles me is that I've not seen... There's supposed to be a Dawn Guard patrol on this road. I've not seen it for the longest time, which worries me because... Well, I am a member of the Dawn Guard. I should probably check in on them sometime soon, but... Now is not the time, not with the threat of war, just around the corner. And again, I still think it's incredibly ballsy of Imperial troops to run prisoners through Ulfric's land. And then the thing, and like, one of the other things is, is that heading to Windhelm right now is actually quite beneficial. Because a long time ago, we were given the Coral Claw. Uh, we picked that up in Winterhold. And apparently, there's a tomb very, very close to Windhelm. Just on the other side of the river. And apparently, it's for that tomb. We had no location for it before, but now we do. As well as a few other things to do in Windhelm. And also on the way to Winterhold as well. Oh, that's a bear. Let's not use those arrows, because we might hurt some of our allies. Like that. One more shot. There we go, because this is the Forsaken Cave, right? is where we picked up the white file in the first place but yeah we also need to return to Azura's Azura's uh, shrine to return to her her sadly very much broken star have I got in a circle without much real no it's just I saw my eco crossing on the other side of night, in, of night Gate Inn, and now he's here on this side of Night Gate Inn. He teleported. Either way, let's try and avoid any Stormcloak ambushes. Fighting in the cold is not Rickard's strong suit. Ah, but the first thing we need to pray for is uh, no more invisible dragons. Which is uh, something that came upon us the last time we came through here. But I think that that was unique to that dragon. But we will soon yet see. There may be more. It's something I never rule out. The enemy will always find ways to surprise you. Here we are in the East March. And I have my wits about me. Ulfric is not the easiest pe person to deal with in the world. He may be stupid, but he is also uncannily smart. Just as when you have him figured out, you tend not to. 
and in fact the opposite is also true. He has you figured out long before you have him figured out. And I've st still yet no sign it would be quite ballsy of me to walk in with an Imperial bodyguard. Let's deal with this. Let's get the pleasantries out of the way. Yes, I'm leaving my horse here. Mm, deal with it. These doors are huge. It is quite late, so let's try and get to Jarl Windhelm before he re Jarl Ulfric before he retires for the night. And then we can stay in Candlehearth Inn. Or I might just camp outside. It might be cheaper. I'm spending a lot of money these days. A friend once told me that the inns here used to be cheaper. But with the war effort, their prices have gone up because there are less people staying. I honestly don't know how you do it. Like, I don't think Hyde is even that warm. Okay, into the Palace of Kings. Last time we were here, we begged Ulfric Stormcloak to come to a peace talk, which ended well. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. They're always having this conversation whenever we walk in. It's nice and warm in here. You wouldn't believe it. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Borgroff a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. My vision's a bit blurry. I think that's because I'm still quite cold. Him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then? Soon. I still say you should take them all. Out like you did dead King Torig. I might have something to say about that. Yes, make it quick. I'm a busy man. I've brought a message from the Jarl of Whiterun. Is that so? I've been wondering when he'd come around. Oh, what's this? Ah, you're quite brave to carry such a message. It's a pity you've chosen the wrong side. You can return this axe to the man who sent it, and tell him he should prepare to entertain visitors. I expect a great deal of excitement in the city of Whiterun in the near future. You've killed the High King. Why make war on your own people? I have shown the people that when our Jarls drink the Empire's milk, it makes us weak. I must now show them the path that will lead us back to our strength. There is no progress without sacrifice. No wheat without threshing the chaff. The Empire and the Jarls who back them must be swept away. The people demand it. I demand it. We'll be seeing you soon. Sooner than you think. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on White Run. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not, oh, I, I believe there will be bloodshed. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Then let them die with their false kings. God. We've been. We'll be returning to Whiterun soon, but not this night. There's still too many things yet to do in the area. We yet may not trek to, Win to Winterhold this evening. That will take us far out the way, especially now if, Win if Whiterun is in so much danger. At the very least, I can check out the ruin. There may be yet something inside that could help us with the matter. So we're going to spend the night here and we're going to trek out in the evening. I suspect me and my Imperial friend, wherever, wherever he may have gotten distracted, 
There he is. I suspect we are not incredibly safe here. It's quite time to return to Whiterun. We're on the eve of war with Ulfric. It would appear that trying to talk him out of it is not going to be the solution that we all wish it could be. Um, however, there is one task I can yet complete before returning. And that is that there is a tomb on this side of the river that the coral claw will help me gain access. Oh god, a bear. Why am I never fully aware of my surroundings? Here we are. It's still following me. Oh, that's something else entirely. That is a troll. And for that, I need something I don't quite have. Oh, the bear is here too. Damn it. Got ya. Oh god. Back. That'll do it. Man, I need to be careful of the other thing out there. There it is. It's not going to happen. My Imperial friend is with me. Troll is going for him. That'll do it. He has quite good survivability. Uh, the horse is fine where it is. But let's see where we are. If this is indeed the place. Salt piles, snowberries. What's this book? I don't think I can actually grab it. No! Nor can it be burnt. It's indestructible. Yingle Barrow. There appears to be some kind of a presence here. I will not remove the torch, it's providing quite an invaluable source of light. What? Are you? I believe this is what's known as a magical anomaly. Quite a sprite little thing. But uh, are you friend or are ye foe? I suppose we will soon find out. Let us just fill ourselves up. And if anything's going to be in here, it's going to require Dawnbreaker. Look. Ancient Lord Ruins. Who knows what's down there? I always know what's down here. Draugr. There's nothing else in here. Another magical anomaly. They seem quite harmless. What is this? Is this just a crack in the cave, it would seem? The anomalies seem to be leading the way. Or at least pointing to me which way I should be going. Ok, 
Okay. I wonder if there's meant to be some kind... Oh! Hello! Dead scholar! Well, notes on you and Gilbar. It's so nice of you to have this on you. Oh. Okay. What a peculiar place the barrow turned out to be. I hadn't explored for very long before reaching this elaborate room and gate, locking me from going further into the crypt. I confess it. I'm relieved. This place puts the fear of oblivion into me. There are some carvings in this room. I'll attempt to transcribe them for the college so that I have something to show for this effort. All was so in Atmora, land of truth and our home. Man in his throne, so should he be. Whale in the sea, so should he be. Eagle in sun sky, so should he be. Snake in the weed, so should he be. Sorrow for the sea of ghosts, took Yungol, prize brother of sail from Atmora's fleet. And none on land, nor sky, nor sea would ever again be as should be. Fascinating, these ancient Nords. I wonder what other secrets are hidden here. Surely there can't be harm in trying to go a little further. There is a lever here, which must open the gate beyond. Oh, I see what happened to you, sir. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so... Man in the throne, so should he be. Water. The whale? So should he be. Snake in the weed. So should he be. An eagle in sun sky. Wow, that liver is just non-stop. Ow. Come on. There we go. Oh, of course, I'm poisoned. These anomalies are quite... cute. I'm wondering if I can take one home. Oh, he's hiding in the jar. Still yet no danger. These anomalies are curious. I think I heard something. No? I thought I heard heavy breathing. This is very curious. I've never really seen a barrow. Come on. Can you already... What do you mean by the nine? It's a door. Clearly the anomalies want me to open it. What did I just kick? I kicked something. What did you kick it? I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, I kicked a candlestick. I don't really need a torch. These anomalies seem to be doing a pretty good job of providing light. So here the path diverges, but this is yet another dead end. sword in here. I'm 
plenty of snowberries. I wonder. So, the sword must have fallen through the crack. Someone must have dropped it. But the placing of snowberries is curious. You can go that way, but what about the other way? Where did this go? It leads to a treasure that has at least a steel great sword in it. That doesn't really pique my curiosity. However, it's a good job I do not walk faster. Um, I, I suspect he might trigger that. So that's the first little bit of danger that we've had. There's a lot of anomalies now. Here we are. Flames just went out. Flames are going out as we move through. I don't think I like where this is going. Um, me neither, to be honest. Okay, now I need the code on the coral claw. So we have a snake. A wolf and a dragonfly. Snake, wolf, and a dragonfly. Are you leading me to treasure or to my doom? looks like treasure. That looks like danger. And it sounds pretty nasty. That's uh, Yingo's shade. Damn it. Should have prepared. I don't think that reached him. What's he wielding? Ebony. That's ebony if I, ever I saw it. Let's get around him. Stagger him. He might be a shade, but he can still yet be staggered. Come on. Absorbing magic. It's absorbing magic from something. Look. Now, if ever that's not absorbing magic, I don't know what is. Still plate helmets of eminent destruction. Was he absorbing magic from you? Uh, thanks. Necessary, though. Oh, it's always necessary. An ebony bow. That's always nice. Song of Promir. Two handed. Not sure I needed that. And the helm of Yongle. Oh, oh, oh. That's creepy. Don't don't fall apart like that. What does that do? What does that... There was an enchantment on that. I could tell just by looking at it. Increases frost resistance by 30%. It's not the most useful enchantment in the world. I will take that ebony ingot. Ooh, up, 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 up the stairs you go. There's a lot of stairs. Yet another layer. Or not. The ground seems to be caving in on this poor barrow. 
open into Skyrim. So this leads outside. <laughs> the air is damn cold. Damnable cold. Which direction this way? Sorry, Hawker, I'm not here to mess around with you. That looks like a very big fire. Uh, because not quite friendly people are having a fight over there, that's why. Uh, it's getting sort of chilly. If I can just get back to my horse, I'll be more than happy. Yeah, well, that was kind of a wasted journey, really. I mean, always nice to find ancient hidden relics, but a helm of frost resistance? Not really something I need. A helm of defend oneself from the physical attack is what I need. I can defend myself from magic quite easily, being Breton and all. I think now is the time to return to Whiterun and tell Yael Balgruf of yet more great news that I always seem to have for him. I often don't understand why. I mean, I can understand one man is always different. One man will always have his opinion. But to use that opinion to assuage others... Like, I'm pretty sure all the people under his under his gaze, the, the storm cloaks, the soldiers themselves... Do they really want to attack Whiterun just because Whiterun can't decide? Or because Balgroth refuses to pick a side. That's kind of what's going on. Let's take a different way. Let us go this way. Ride through East March that way. It should be a little bit warmer. Because swamp. And we've not ridden through East March in quite some time. In fact, I think what we could have done is actually cross the bridge. Let's actually try and... Yeah, let's try and cross Fjord the river using the horse. Because otherwise, if we stay on that road, it will take us closer to Riften than to Whiterun. I mean, I don't think Balgraf isn't picking a side because he's trying to be difficult. But he just wants peace. I mean, his land has had to put up with dragons and already. Uh, as well as actually housing a dragon, which is something that Jarl Balgraf refuses to lay down. Uh, there have been a few quite a few vampire vampire attacks you're not just white run but Morthor as well I've not seen vampires anywhere else but it's just interesting it's almost like really that Ulfric is not attacking white run for him well he is attacking it for him it's more for him than it is his people that's for sure and there's Fort Amal being attacked. That's the constant skirmish that keeps going on. That these Imperials are trying to take the fort that's across the river from Windhelm. Or across the marshes anyway. There we go. We're only a few, few moments away from Whiterun now. This is the one thing, like, yes, the horse bothers me. And how he'll always run away from everything. The only reason why I keep him around is that when I do have him, he's very fast. It's probably one of the fastest horses I've had. 
in my entire life. There is talk though, you know, in uh, in Riften of a faster horse that's owned by the Blackbriars. I would not mind getting my hands on that one, if ever the uh, the opportunity was around. But I haven't been to Riften in some time just because, like the last time I was there, I was attacked. By because the thing is, I've not been to Riften because not just one, I was attacked by Stormcloaks in their hold. But it was more than just Stormcloaks, there was a Riften guard on their side attacking me. And he was actually one of the stronger of the bunch. So that's another reason why I haven't been returning to Riften. Not until the Civil War is... Well, sorted really. And my god, that is one misty... Is one mistiness. What is it? Is it morning? No, it's the evening. I can just barely see Dragon's Reach. And this road often has many calamities going on around it. I suspect this will be no different. There are already three dead wolves and a white run patrol. Ah, uh, I I think they already had to deal with what things that need deal withing on this road. What? There's something going on in White Run. Is he really attacking something? Everyone's just really, really jumpy at the moment. It might be the beginning of the war party. I don't know how close Ulfric is on my tail with his troops. Is everyone just becoming... Yeah, everyone's becoming very guarded as I pass by. Only seems to be happening in Whiterun. So we'll soon see what the cause of this is. And we're actually gonna No actually. Because I fear for pretty much everything, the horse is gonna be very much close to me the entire time. As best as I can. All I can suggest is that either these guards are very much guarded from whatever threats threaten their land, or there's a script trying to trigger an encounter that's not quite happening. Either way, it's not harming many much of the other gameplay elsewhere. We'll see what happens after. Could be a glitch that I can sort out. It might just be something that's being triggered by the state of the game and where it is. Falling apart as it is. My scouts tell me they're loading them with fire. So, he wants to take my city. Walls intact. The men will be fighting in flames. My men are fearless. It's the Imperial milk drinkers I'm worried about. If you prefer, I can take my men and leave. No, uh, of course not. Just don't let me down, Sipius. We'll need to set up water brigades to combat the flames. Already taken care of. You Imperials are efficient. I'll give you that. How long until they arrive? Sir. Not long. They're hiding in the countryside. Damn it. What's he waiting for? Sir? What? Sir, they're on the move. They'll be at the gates at any moment. Why didn't you say so immediately? Sir, I tried. This is it. Time to see what these storm cloaks are made of. The men are already gathering at the gates. Move it, soldier. Spread the word. Go, go, go! Oblivion, take them. Every miserable last one of them! 
Okay, so I suppose the message I need to pass to you is mute. You returned with my axe. I knew that would be his response. You tried. As soon as you left, I sent word to General Tullius, who's been kind enough to lend us some of his troops and Legate Scipius here. Let Ulfric try to make it past our combined forces. I'll turn you back over to your legion. Legate Scipius will have use for you. Gods be with us all. And with you. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Yes, you do. The storm are here, in force. Get down to the front line. This is it. We must hold the city. Now move it. If we do not send men to fight in the war, you'll find yourself guarding one of all Frick's men. And if an assassin slips past the Night Watch, we won't have a yawl at all. Without Balgras leadership, the will descend into chaos. Nonsense. If Balgruff falls, someone will take his place, for better or worse. In the meantime, we have a war to win, and win it we must. Balgruff, did you slip out again last night for a drink at the Bannered Mare? The people are mobilizing already. Oh dear. Stormcloaks are using catapults to attack the city while keeping the walls intact because probably they intend on keeping every. They probably intend on making the place their stronghold against the Thalmor. We must keep the fight outside the city walls, lest the people become in danger. I think we're going to stick with the Legate for this one. Here they come. Now the trick is to defend the barricades, but the barricades fall quite quickly. So we're going to follow her for this. Oh no you don't. Oh, whoops. Along the fence, nothing. Nope, you come back here. Can't let it Ricker. Cannot let them get past. Storm cloaks are nothing. There's not that many left.
think a lot of them have gotten past. Just me and the legger on the front. Bring it. Oh god. We're surrounded. Oh god. I very much am. Surrounded by the last. I need to kill their general. And that'll be the end. Oh god, do not die. You're pushing your luck. You pushed yours by attacking my home. I think they're all done. Done in by the Dragonborn. Did not want to kill them. But they were seeking something by a man who claims to be some form of a prophet, a hero. The man they follow is nothing but a fraud, a tyrant. He wants nothing from them but their blood and their life. Revel in your victory here today, even as the gods revel in your honor. They already sing of your valor and skill. The halls of Sovngarde are no doubt ringing with your praises in defeating these storm-cloaked traitors. You have proven the hollowness of their cause, and the fullness of your hearts. The citizens of Whiterun are forever in your debt. But Ulfric will not stop here. No, he will continue to strike out against any true Nord who remains faithful to the Empire. He will continue to sow discord and chaos wherever he can. And so, we must, each one of us, continue to fight this insurrection, lest our fallen brothers have died for naught, lest our honor be lessened, should we allow these bloodthirsty beasts to prowl our lands. Carry on, men. My gratitude and blessings go with you. For white man, Yeah, Balgruf. Thank you for your role in all of this. 
It'd be my honor should you decide to make White run your home. Speak with Preventus. He'll make the necessary arrangements. Why side with the Empire? Mutual advantage. Any fool can see that. For centuries, we have benefited from the Empire's protection and prosperous trade with the South. In exchange, the people of Cyrodiil sleep peacefully, knowing their northern border is guarded by the fiercest warriors in all Tamriel. And what will it take to end the war? Ulfric Stormcloak's head on a pike. Do you think Ulfric really cares about Skyrim's independence or the welfare of its people? I promise you, he doesn't. He's nothing more than a barbarian renegade whose lust for power has cost the lives of countless innocents. But I took those lives. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. There's no doubt about it. The only way this war ends is with Ulfric's death. But the Jarl has it slightly wrong. He may have sent the innocents. But it was indeed me that killed them. The act in actuality, the soldiers that fight for the Stormcloaks were nothing more than civilians and people. Sure, some may have been trained by the Empire, but not enough. Soldiers of the Empire would have seen how to not fight this fight. But people who are untrained simply go down all the choke points that Whiterun has to offer. You know, in, in a small corridor like the gateway at White One offers, you know, your numbers mean nothing. And that's all Ulfric has. He has numbers, but he doesn't have trained numbers. His words fall on people who are listening. That's all they are people. Not soldiers, not people who can fight. A fight. I slaughtered innocent, innocent people. And now I must revel in a victory. In a victory that I do not feel is a win. Just merely something that was going to happen. You can see the rest of the people are still fleeing now. Ulfric will gather his numbers again, and he will attack again. Maybe not here, but somewhere. But do I fight is the problem. I'm the Dragonborn. People are hardly a match. Well, whatever it be, Whatever I decide from this point, I'm sure one day Skyrim will be at peace once more. But when that is, I cannot say. But right now, I think I've earned the ability to. Have a restful night.